Troy Easley versus Quincy Lavalaise. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Troy and Quin uh, Quincy is scheduled for 8 rounds in the uh, middleweight division to take place uh, this coming weekend, this Saturday, over at the Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden, New York City, New York, USA. To be shown live on ESPN Plus in the undercard of the Vasily Lomachenko versus Jermaine Ortiz fight. To those who don't know who uh, Troy Ilse Isley is, he is a 24-year-old fighter from Virginia, born in Washington, D.C. Seven wins, zero losses, four wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. He is coming off a, a unanimous decision win against Victor Tony back in August. Uh, so far as a pro, he's done pretty well, uh, winning fight after fight. And now here he is fighting Quincy Lavalace, a 29-year-old fighter from Louisiana with a record of 14 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw, 9 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Um, he's currently in a 2-fight winning streak. He won twice while he was in Colombia, fought twice within a week in Colombia. And... You know, he's, he's in a winning streak <laughs> since he lost to Xander Zayas back in March of this year. He's also lost to the likes of Norberto Casco and lost by split decision against uh, Nanginov. Nanginov. Um, but yeah, and now here he is uh, fighting Troy Isley uh, in the undercard of a, a big event. So, based on what I've seen of Level Ace, I think he's definitely the toughest test of Troy Isley at least right now for, for his professional career. I see Lavalace having moments here and there, but in the end, I still have to go with the A side, Troy Easley. Um, it's a good measuring stick to see how good Easley really is. Um, you know, if Easley can beat Lavalace in a more impressive fashion compared to Xander Zayas, uh, then Easley is on the right track. Now, if Easley struggles against Lavalace, which I think he'll have a couple tough rounds, um, then, you know, maybe he's not, not on the same track as, uh, Xander Zayas, but I'm still leaning towards Troy easily in this fight. Um, I think Troy, uh, this needs to be smart. This needs to be smart. Just follow the game plan and I think he should be fine. But I, I think level uh, with the momentum he has right now, getting those two wins in Colombia, I'm sure he's probably more confident than he was after losing to Sandra Zayas. So I see Lavalace having a couple winning a couple rounds. But in the end I see Troy easily winning six rounds to two. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. I'm just looking forward to a great weekend of boxing. A lot of fights taking place around the world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, Turks.